Hello there, dear friends. Imagine, if you will, a journey not just across vast and treacherous landscapes, but through the ever-winding terrains of the human soul. That's precisely the kind of expedition one remarkable woman embarked upon, a journey so audacious and spiritually profound that it continues to captivate us to this very day. Her name was Alexandra David Neal, and her odyssey was nothing short of extraordinary. The philosophical landscape is much like the geography of our planet. It has its towering peaks of insight, its deep valleys of doubt, and its long, winding roads of thought that lead to destinations both enlightening and arcane. Alexandra David Neal traversed both the literal and figurative realms, journeying to places where few Westerners, let alone women of her time, dared to tread. As we venture forth in her footsteps, let us allow our minds to wander across the tapestry of the human experience through the rich and the mystical, the tangible and the transcendent. Now, I pose to you a question that cuts to the heart of our wanderlust, both physical and metaphysical. What compels a soul to embark on such a quest for truth and understanding, to brave the unknown in search of enlightenment? Is it the promise of wisdom, the escape from the mundane, or perhaps the simple raw yearning to know what lies beyond the next horizon, whether it be of this world or within ourselves. Alexandra David Neal's story is one of insatiable curiosity and unyielding determination. Born in 1868 in Paris, she was a woman of many talents, an opera singer, a journalist, a feminist, a Buddhist, an anarchist, and above all, a philosopher and explorer. She ventured deep into the heart of Asia, not just to witness the sacred practices of another culture, but to immerse herself in them, to understand the very fabric of existence. It was in the remote reaches of Tibet, at a time when foreigners were forbidden, that Alexandra sought the wisdom of lamas and hermits and delved into the mystical practice of Tibetan Buddhism. Her experiences resonate with the words of another explorer of the soul, the poet T.S. Eliot, who once said, we shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Alexandra's journey was as much about coming home to herself as it was about reaching the forbidden city of Lhasa. In the annals of history, her name stands alongside the esteemed philosopher travelers of the past, like Marco Polo and Ibn Battuta. She conversed with sages and scholars, and her writings offer us a direct quote that captures her spirit. I craved for knowledge, I was hungry for light. Her hunger led her to confront not only the physical dangers of her journey, but also the profound philosophical questions of her time. She grappled with the nature of reality, the illusion of self, and the interplay of different cultural paradigms, weaving her insights into texts that challenge and inspire even today. Alexandra's odyssey was not without its ethical considerations. One might ponder the implications of a Western woman immersing herself in and documenting the sacred, secret traditions of Eastern spirituality. Was her journey one of cultural appropriation or a genuine quest for universal truth? She treated her subjects with respect and admiration. Yet one cannot help but question the delicate balance between exploration and exploitation in such an intimate exchange between cultures. Her travels coincide with a period of great cultural and philosophical exchange between East and West. The early 20th century saw an unprecedented mingling of ideas, with Eastern philosophies and practices being interpreted and sometimes reimagined through Western lenses. Alexandra's works, such as Magic and Mystery in Tibet, offered a rare and valuable perspective, though we must read them with an awareness of the historical context and personal worldview she brought to her interpretations. The cultural reflections of Alexandra David Neal's experiences are manifold. Her life's work echoes in literature, music, and film as tales of her journey spark the imagination and invite contemplation. Her detailed accounts of Tibetan mysticism and daring adventure have inspired countless others to seek out the beauty and complexity of other worlds and worldviews. 
Now, let us turn to the contemporary discussions that her legacy prompts. In today's world of instant connectivity and global awareness, Alexandra's brand of exploration takes on new meaning. How do we, as modern seekers, navigate the balance between learning from other cultures and respecting their autonomy and integrity? This question remains as polarizing as ever, inviting us to consider the ways in which we approach the unknown, both externally and within the depths of our own souls. The relevance of Alexandra David Neal's journey in today's world cannot be understated. As we grapple with questions of identity, belief, and the interconnectedness of our global community, her life's work serves as a reminder of the transformative power of curiosity and the enduring quest for understanding across cultural borders. Bringing together the threads of Alexandra's extraordinary life, we find a narrative rich with adventure, spiritual seeking, and philosophical inquiry. Her legacy is a testament to the idea that the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of the soul are journeys without end, and each step taken on that path is both a discovery and a homecoming. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me in this exploration of Alexandra David Neal's remarkable sojourn through the landscape of the soul. As you go about your lives, may you carry with you a spark of her indomitable spirit, a thirst for knowledge, and a heart open to the boundless mysteries of existence. I leave you now with a few questions to ponder. What unknown landscapes, both external and internal, are you called to explore? What wisdom lies waiting for you in the quiet corners of your own being? And how might your journey illuminate the paths of others? Until we meet again, may your travels be bold, your mind be open, and your spirit ever curious. Take care, and may your own journey through the landscape of the soul be as rich and enlightening as the one we've shared today.